Hello everyone. Uh, my name is Nisha and I make YouTube videos every week and um, I'm new to YouTube channel so whoever is watching this video I would just like to say thank you so much in advance. So let's get straight to the topic of this video. We went on a camper van trip last year and it was amazing. We had a traveler's autobahn for about seven days and we spent most of our time in Evel Tasman National Park from there, Nelson, um, Marlboro, uh, Blenheim and Kaikoura and then drop our van in Christchurch. It was a pretty good experience but there's so many things that we learned you know on as we go so I thought I would just share my experience with you and if it's informative to you then uh, that's a double thumbs up for me. It's like first is you want to try something new like you've been to the hotel you've been there like you've done that but the camper van thing is fun exciting and it's a budget friendly as well so if let's say you feel high if you're going for a trip for more than five days then it's best to get a van so that you can you know like stop wherever you want to or like spend the night wherever you like so it's more like a freedom of traveling in a way another thing is like you can travel on your own pace so you don't have to reach to a certain destination by a certain time or like check out from the hotel and all those hassles so and it saves a lot of money you have everything you needed in your car and your van so it's sort of like your little home away from home. So in New Zealand, we do have a lot of camper van companies. I think New Zealand is like a heaven, heaven to, you know, heaven for the, the, the campers. It's like there's so many places you can explore. There is lots of varieties of options like luxury motorhomes to a, just the basic budget uh, van. There's tons of options for everyone. And another thing is that like booking is, um, if you have a time, then you can book ahead few months, like few months earlier. And then prices like there's some special uh, offers that comes every now and then. And if you can catch that, then uh, you can get some more discounts. And the busiest time in New Zealand is uh, in the summertime from December to February and from that onwards it's like autumn and winter but you can still hide I think those off seasons are a little bit cheaper than the on season another thing I would like to add is uh, when you do your booking there is an insurance part of it so have a look properly what you want to add on there's a full insurance and there is a different add-on charges that it's whether if you want to add or not. Packing can be quite um, tricky when you're going for a camper van trip. I suggest or I um, I encourage you to like pack limited uh, limited clothes at least and they say in New Zealand you know the weather can be really uh, unpredictable so you like it might be sunny in one side but uh, within an hour distance it could get a little bit windy cold or rainy so make sure you have your um, just a little bit of every cloth for the whole season and other side of the packing is in the kitchen so whatever I need for the kitchen I just put it everything in the container so that when I cook it I just take it out and use it and then um, when it's done you just put away out of the side so you have a, a clean space for you to do something else and when hitting on the road there's a few things that we should uh, keep in mind is you should know the New Zealand rules of conduct for the road like um, what are the rules and regulations on the road and um, the van that you're driving you should be able to know a little bit of information about the van now it's pretty much the same but sometimes it's like it's good to know where the things are in the van and um, the height of your van the speed limit 
just like highway should be all good but if you're going through a town or like if you're going somewhere a narrow space then just keep in mind that um, just all little things makes it uh, save you from the hassle and um, when to for the return you should be able to know what as what are the requir requirement for the return and they do check when you drop your vehicle as well and make sure everything is in the right conditions so that's all the process of the um, the hiring a camp van and uh, it's quite simple it's quite easy all you need to do is just uh, you don't want to do too much on your first trip so just keep it simple like camp uh, campground so freedom campground you don't have to pay or even you pay it's like really less um, amount of money so you need to have a self-sufficient van for that so when you hire it I think uh, it's better to get a self-sufficient van you don't have to use the toilet there all the time because there's lots of toilet facilities along the way on the road so with uh, with uh, that that sticker of the self-contained um, vehicle gives you the freedom of parking your car pretty much wherever you like so that's another bonus point so once you hit the road make sure you download in your phone the um, like a, um, the apps like uh, Campermate, uh, Camping New Zealand by Ranko, so there's a different ones but I use Campermate, it's pretty good so it tells you where the next toilet is or where the next campground or like you can just search by different um, like categories so if it's a toilet you search then it shows all the toilets on your trip or the campground or the holiday parks so it's like your little your digital map on your phone so I find that pretty good and another thing is um, so we were like out you know exploring going somewhere and we like we thought oh we just have to spend the night in the campground so we're just gonna go in the night like after we've, we've, we've done everything and just to rest but even when we went there was a lockdown but there was the border was everything was closed there was no other tourists it's just the local people up here and it was full on packed like especially the freedom campground and then, and then the trouble we had finding the another campground oh my god that's another story so i suggest like you know if you if you are like eyeing a good uh, campground and then if you just want to um, like don't want to miss that then I suggest you go really early like 4 or 5 if you can and just set it up and just uh, enjoy if you like my video please subscribe to my channel thank you so much everyone for giving your time and I will see you next time